Hi, I'm Brian with Ferronics Technical Support, and in this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up a deep freeze batch file task and how to update other workstation tasks on your systems. Before starting off, please ensure that you have your deep freeze client workstations showing up in the deep freeze enterprise console. To update the workstation tasks through the deep freeze enterprise console using the available configurations on the left hand side. Expand the available configurations node and expand deep freeze. If you have a configuration already set up and you would like to modify it, right click on the configuration and hit edit configuration. To add a batch file task, go to workstation tasks. You can see we already have a Windows Update task scheduled to occur every Wednesday from 12 a.m. to when the update completes. Select Batch File from the Task Type dropdown and hit Add. Name the Batch File task. In this example, we'll be adding a batch file to delete the temporary files. Select a day. Ensure it does not coincide with any other tasks, and specify a start and end time. A minimum of 15 minutes is required for the batch file task. Also keep in mind the reboot times for the client machine to reboot thawed and reboot frozen while setting up this task. In this example, I'm going to set up the batch file task to start at 12 a.m. and finish at 12.20 a.m. I'm also going to disable the keyboard and mouse so that the users cannot use the machine or make changes to the machine while it is in a thawed state in case anyone is in the lab. I'm also going to shut down the machines after the task and display a message three minutes before the task starts. Once you've scheduled the batch file task, click OK, and then go over to the batch file tab to add the contents of the actual batch file. Once again, we are going to run a batch file task to delete the temporary files. Under the batch file authentication section, you can select to have the batch file run using the system account or specify a user account. If you are specifying a user account, ensure that it has the appropriate privileges to run the batch file. Once you've made your changes to the configuration, click OK. Click OK again once this is saved, and if you would like to add any workstations to use this configuration, you can do so by simply selecting the workstations under Entire Network and dragging and dropping them to the configuration of your choice. The Deep Freeze configuration has been successfully updated on the selected workstations. If you have any questions or see any issues while updating the configurations, please contact Ferronics Technical Support. Thank you.